Alrighty guys, just want to show you my potato cannon that I built recently. Um, built this maybe a month, month and a half ago. Um, it's the third one that I've built and I think it's the best one that I've done. Um, it's just standard combustion uh, potato cannon. Uh, I just use um, any deodorant spray that's got propane or butane. Uh, as an inactive ingredient, uh, you gotta use that. Uh, also, uh, hairspray works well. Um, but now we're just gonna go into the details of how I built it really quickly. Um, the barrel is inch and a half PVC, uh, schedule 40. Uh, it's three feet long. And on the end, I've sharpened it um, just with the belt sander. And also at the base of the barrel, I've got a number 10 screw that extends across the barrel. And that prevents me from uh, putting the potato down too far. My combustion chamber is 4 inch PVC. Um, with a four inch uh, clean out with a threaded portion at the end there um, with just a cap at the end that's where I put my fuel um, the piece of four inch is ten inches long and to go from the four inch to inch and a half I actually had to go to three inch um, from the four inch because at the hardware store I couldn't find a um, four inch to inch and a half reducer uh, so I just went from four to three and then from three to inch and a half um, just got a piezoelectric barbecue starter as my ignition um, show you inside here um, not sure how well you can see that, but I've just got the two number 10 screws in uh, close together, about a quarter inch apart. Hopefully you saw the spark. Um, then I've just got it wrapped in electrical tape so I don't uh, shock myself. And I've got the, uh, the button just, again, electrical taped to the... Uh, and there. Uh, I fired it off yesterday at a friend's farm um, and I would have to say the potato plug went about 200 yards. Um, hopefully I'll have to have somebody uh, film me shooting it off soon. So that's it for now. Uh, talk to you later guys.